everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today. In today's video, I am going to share a highlight reel. Just sales that were over $50 that happened pretty quickly. Within 60 days, that is my measure. And some of these sales happened within 60 days of being relisted. I will let you know what items had to be relisted. I relist older items almost every single day. I don't care how many likes or how much love an item received. If it hasn't sold within 60 days, it does get relisted. That being said, I do want to put it out there that I am a bread and butter seller. Most of my sales are under the $50 price point, but I have been actively working to raise my average sales price probably in the last year and I've had really good results with that. Overall, January was a phenomenal month for me. And I did a few things that I think accounted for that and I will be sharing those. I don't have all the answers, guys. I will never make a video telling you what you should do. I will share what I did and my theory, why I think that it worked. And starting with in December, I took some time off in December. I traveled in December. I took some time off for the holidays and I also had an injury that just forced me to close my stores. Now, when that happens, it can be very hard to get traffic back into your store when you open things up again. And I knew that. I knew that things would be slow. So I just started sending offers and accepting offers. I have found that action brings more action. And if I was not losing money on an offer, I accepted it just to get other offers coming in. It did seem to work. I actually... I'm gonna start this video off with my lowest sale, okay? So I can prove to you that it's not all great big sales here at the Kelly Schaffner business, guys. I accepted an offer of $5 on a men's Denver Bronco t-shirt. And I was so happy to see this t-shirt leave my house for $5, which brings me a profit of $2.05. And that was pure profit. That shirt was given to me and I decided a couple years ago to list it. I stored it for two years and I was thrilled that someone wanted it. That shirt would have been donated eventually. So I was very, very happy to see that go. Now, that was the only $5 sale that I have. I do not accept ridiculous offers. I decline them. But to get sales back on track in my business, I was accepting offers. And I had a wonderful, wonderful January. In fact, it was reminiscent of like 2020. Sales really picked up and that's the only thing that I did differently. I do list consistently, but not every day. I do my best to get a couple hundred listings up every month. Then sometimes I fall short of that and sometimes I don't. January exceeded my expectations. February has started out strong. If this isn't the case in your business, I feel you. I get it because I have done what I thought were all the right things, upped my listings and relisted, and I have done so many things, and I was not able to kind of shake the algorithm in the past. And guys, I'm going to have more slumps in the future. It just seems that the past five or six weeks have been pretty strong in my business. This video, I am sharing the highlights, some of the items that I keep my eye out just to keep my average sales price up higher. And maybe you will find this helpful. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I'm gonna start off with a brand that I really like. And unfortunately, this is not a very popular brand any longer, and that is Alexander Wang. I did accept an offer of $75 on these little booties. They were a pink blush tan colored sock booty with a peep toe and that suspended heel that Alexander Wang is famous for. I do have another pair of Alexander Wang shoes in my Poshmark closet for sale and they have been in my closet for well over a year and there's a lot of controversy surrounding this designer. That does not stop me from really appreciating 
the beauty of his designs. He builds a utilitarian grunge style clothing, fashion, shoes that I absolutely love. All leather, very, very nice quality. And they used to be hot. Alexander Wang is a young designer. He is, he, guys, he is a college dropout and a self made billionaire, a young self-made billionaire. I think he got just a little bit too arrogant and he's been accused of some very serious uh, misconduct and that has affected his business. And I do believe that it has affected the resale market as well because big, big influencers like the Kardashians have unfollowed him and spoke out and boycott his clothing. And I do think that that has spilled into the resale market. I was thrilled to accept an offer of $75 for these booties because I thought maybe some people would overlook that, but I will think twice about adding Alexander Wang to my closet unless I can pick up his pieces at the bins. And that has everything to do with the other pair of shoes that I have had listed forever. Next sale that I'll talk about was wonderful, and here is why. It is a pair of Good American, Good Leg, High Rise Black Jeans. They were a bit distressed. These were new with tags, and they were straight legs. So I was willing to try a straight leg pair of Good American Jeans because they just are not selling for me. The brand is not selling as quickly as it once did. And and I accepted an offer of $63 on these jeans and they sold very quickly within five days of listing them. And I recently hauled those and I did express my concern about the brand not being as popular, but guys, guess what? I think the brand is okay if you can pick up a current style in the Good American. So $63 for those jeans. Next up was a dress by the brand Nicholas. This was a navy blue long sleeve lace cocktail mini dress. This is the first and only time I have ever sold the brand. I found this dress. I looked up comps. The comps looked very, very good. I did have my niece model the dress for me. It was a beautiful dress. I had this dress in my inventory for five months before it sold. The model pictures were beautiful. It was priced with comparable sold comps and it still took a while to sell. It did sell for $60. I was happy with that. Sometimes I do find that my higher priced items take a little bit longer to sell, but that was an experiment. I think I will be a little bit more particular with Nicholas dresses when I find them in the future because this took a little bit longer than I wanted to sell, but third time was a charm. I got it relisted and it sold within days of being relisted. I accepted an offer for this sweater I picked up at the bins in September. It was listed in October, so you can see it took a few months to sell. I know I said this would be under 60 days. I did relist this sweater. It was an Irish merino wool sweater by the brand Kerrig Dawn. It was in green. It was a cable knit. It was beautiful. It was new with tags. I thought this sweater was going to sell very quickly. It received so much interest. I may have had it priced too high. I originally priced it at $100. When I relisted it, I brought the price down and I did accept an offer for $50 on this sweater. I'll tell you why. Because it was January, because I had my stores closed, and also because I really want to move out sweaters and outerwear before we move into the spring season. So I'm accepting offers on all of that cold weather clothing. And I was happy that someone is going to enjoy that sweater. It was a beautiful sweater. Next up was another sweater. It was a lightweight cardigan topper sweater, long line by Eileen Fisher. It was called the Sheer Hemp Grid Oregano Green Cardigan. I had that listed for $100. That one was new with tags. The MSRP on that was like $228. I listed it for $100 and I sent an offer with 20% off. It was accepted. So I sold that cardigan 
for $80, sold very quickly. If you remember my bins haul from Hackensack, New Jersey, I brought home a lot of Eileen Fisher. It's receiving a lot of attention. So I've sold several pieces, but I hope to sell all of it. A lot of it is more spring appropriate. So I do expect that it will start selling better at the end of February into March, but I was happy about that. Next up was a pair of Rothy's that I also picked up in Hackensack. This was the classic, the point. They were black. They were in a great size and those sold within a couple days of being listed for $55. $55 for a pair of Rothy's. They are not selling for what they once sold for me. I did get a pair that was more rare. I have them priced over $100. They're just not receiving the attention that they once got. I do suspect that those may also sell for about $70, $75. Next up, this is another fun, fun sale. I'm excited to report this one to you because this is a denim brand that I said, I haven't had any luck with it, but I can't help myself. I keep buying it. And that is Veronica Beard Jeans. And I like the brand so much. So it's really hard for me to not pick it up when I can find it at a great price. I picked up a pair of Veronica Beard black Beverly Slim flare leg denim jeans. I got these for a zero cost of goods at the buy sell trade store. If you're curious about my strategy, how I get free inventory from the buy sell trade store, I will link a video above. These sold so fast guys. In three days time, these jeans sold. I accepted an offer for $75. That's actually low. The comps on Veronica Beard jeans tend to be average around $100, but I needed the sales and I was so excited to be able to move Veronica Beard jeans because I've seen the comps. I just haven't sold the one and only other pair that I have put into my closet. Okay, this sale will probably not surprise you. This was also from the New Jersey bins. It was a dress by Pleats Please, which is Izzy Mayaki. And this was a blue pleated dress. The entire interior care tag was written in Japanese. My friend Keegan from the Teen Reseller right here on YouTube. He translated that tag for me and sent me all the information for my listing. Thank you so very much. You guys all help me so much and I really, really appreciate it. But I do think having that translation probably helped to sell the dress. I did include a picture of that care tag, but honestly, I didn't know how to use Google Translate and translate that tag. But I did accept an offer on that dress for $160 and I could have got more. Absolutely absolutely could have got more had I been willing to hold on to it and I'm not willing. I really want to move things at a fair price as quickly as possible. That was an exciting find. It was a find if you didn't see that video guys. I didn't know what it was. I thought that was an Amazon dress until I felt the fabric. Yeah, no gloves in the bins because these hands can feel quality. I really think that uh, because when I originally saw the dress without tags, I thought it was a boutique brand or something not Izzy Mayaki. So that was a fun, fun find, a great sale. Next up is another really fun sale. This uh, pair of shoes came from the Buy Sell Trade Store. I decided to give them a go. This was the Gucci. They were vintage Gucci. They were called the Asprey Black Wave Soul Wedge Mary Jane Black High Shine Patent Leather Shoes and they sold for $120. They sold in less than 24 hours. I was really happy because I felt like I was taking a chance on vintage Gucci. I have found vintage Gucci at the bins before. I used to always send it to the real real because I didn't feel like I was skilled enough to know the true value of it. So I priced it high and I accepted an offer for $120 and I'm very, very happy about that sale. The next sale also came from the buy sell trade. They were the bed stew, Loretta leather, woven leather booty. These were beautiful, beautiful boots. And they did have a tag attached to one of the boots as if they were new with tags. I didn't sell them that way, but 
but the buyer could obviously see that the tags were attached because there was maybe some wear from trying it on, but I did accept an offer for $120, and these two sold in less than 24 hours. And then I sold a pair of Miss Moo's New York City Mindy Gold Bronze leather sandals. They were a peep toe sandal. I believe they were like in a size 7. I accepted an offer for $50. I don't have a lot of experience selling Miss Moose, and I decided to give it a go. I was happy with a $50 sale. I made a nice profit on these sandals. I had a typo in the title, and I have noticed, have you noticed this, that Poshmark is really finicky about typos. I've also had other poshers, sometimes friends, sometimes you guys, will go into my listings and then leave me a note and say, Kelly, there's a typo or a misspelling in your listing. And I want to tell you right now, I appreciate that because if there's a typo, there is a large, large chance that my items are not being seen. If you let me know that I have a misspelling, I am, I am forever indebted. <laughs> These shoes were relisted once. I didn't notice the typo when I relisted them, but they could have sold faster. Who knows? I'll never know. But they did sell $50 even with a typo. Next stop is a pair of jeans by the brand Anine Bing, which I really like selling Anine Bing, guys. It's only been recently that I have found a couple things by Anine Bing, and they sell very, very fast. This was a pair of jeans. They were a dip dye, slim, straight, high-rise jeans, and I accepted an offer of $75. And again, I need to get things moving, get my store back on track. I made a nice profit at $75, so I was happy to see those go to a new home, and I got a great review on it. So yeah, it was a win-win for both me and the buyer. Next up was a pair of black leather moto boots, I mean traditional motorcycle boots by the brand Harley Davidson. I had to relist these boots because, I'll tell you why, I think I had them priced too high. I priced them at $100 because they were gorgeous. They were all leather. And if you were to go out and buy a brand new pair, it's going to cost you several hundred dollars. I liked these too much. I put too much value on them and I did relist them and I lowered the price on those boots. And then I received an offer for $50, which I gladly accepted because I didn't want to keep them around forever. So I did get rid of those. Next up, I didn't even get to share this really cool shirt with you guys, but it was an L.L. Bean, I'll share it with you now, L.L. Bean Sign Signature Chamois Cloth Tunic Western Shacket Top. It's right here. This top came from my daughter-in-law. My son and my daughter-in-law wear so much L.L. Bean, and my daughter-in-law just donated a whole bunch of clothes to me when I was in New Jersey visiting them. I brought it home. This was one of the first things that I got listed and it sold in less than $24 for my full asking price of $50. This next sale was a learning moment. Let's call it that. It was a learning moment for me. It was a pair of Doc Martens. Historically, I have done very well selling Doc Martens, both boots and even vintage Doc Martens. So when I found these red canvas high top sneaker Doc Martin shoes, I was like, yes, I can't wait to sell these. I priced them high. The comps were disappointing to me. I had higher expectations, so I did price at the top of the comps. These sneaker type high top Doc Martens, the comps are around 30 to $40. I priced mine I think at $65 and I did not budge. I relisted these. The third time I relisted them, they sold a couple weeks later. So I was able to sell mine for $52. I will always, always think twice about picking up Canvas Doc Martens. If the price is right, I will definitely pick them up because there is a following for Doc Martens of all kinds, but these Canvas ones, yeah, I learned a lesson. Canvas is does not equal leather. Very, very different animal. 
I want to thank you right now for sticking around to the very last sale that I am going to highlight today. This will probably not surprise you. This was a dress that came from a thread up bulk mystery box and it was the saving grace of this box. In fact, it was the only good thing in the box. I took the majority of this bulk box to the buy sell trade store. I did make all of my money back on this 200 pound investment at the buy sell trade store, but I did hold back the gems that I got, the few gems that I got in these boxes and listed them for sale. So what sold it was the Emilio Pucci dress. This was a knee length dress. If you saw it, you would know it was Emilio Pucci. It was absolutely beautiful. I've sold this brand twice. This dress that came from a mystery box and the first time I sold it, I found it at a garage sale. It was a maxi length dress and both times this brand sells so fast for me. I sold this dress for $98. Maybe I could have got more. I was happy with that $98. Everything that is selling from those boxes is profit. We are in the green so far as those bulk boxes are concerned. I love that dress. I was very happy that it went on to someone that I know loves the dress as well. I mean, how could you not love that dress? I was happy, I was satisfied with that sale. Anytime you receive an item in a thread up mystery box that you can sell around the $100 price point, that is, a big, big win. This is a high-end designer, Emilio Pucci, and I could have probably held out longer. But because I accepted so many offers in the month of January, my January actually felt like we were back in 2020. I was making good sales daily, and that just kind of vaulted me into a strong start for February. I hope you have found this video to be helpful or entertaining at the very least. I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. A thumbs up is the coolest gift that you can give a girl. So thank you very much for your support. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I will be back, guys. I do have a haul. That will be my next video, okay? Because I did go see my sister. I mentioned that in the last video. I was going to see my sister. We went and saw Fiddler on the Roof. It was so good. And then we watched football and just hung out with family. And I didn't go thrifting with my sister, but as I was driving home, I stopped in a small town in New Mexico at a St. Vincent de Paul, and I found some stuff. I found some really good stuff. I love the prices at St. Vincent de Paul. So I did load up. I am going to share a little story time. Things have been a little crazy around the Schaffner house lately. So, so. be certain that that notification bell is uh, smashed that guys so I can ring your bell when that video is up and live and we can hang out again. Until then, blessings.